Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to the 2024 Sonoma County Wine Celebration Vintner Champion Meeting. If everyone can put themselves on mute um, while they're not speaking, and then we'll open things up for a Q&A at the end. Mike, over to you to kick things off with a welcome. Dana, thank you so much. And good morning, everybody. And as Dana said, welcome to our 2024 uh, Vintners Champion meeting. You know, uh, I, we so appreciate and thank all of you for taking time to join us here today and to uh, hear some of the exciting news that we have uh, to announce today. I know everyone's busy, so thank you all so much for being here. And like I said, every year we're excited about this time of year uh, to get our our foundation events going and and really start the process to making that big impact here in the county that we can for those in need. And over the past few months, um, based on the feedback from uh, uh, vintners, from consumers and, and partners and others, uh, we put together a, a focus group to kind of look at our auction, how can we make it better, um, and to listen to some of the feedback that uh, we've been giving and then take some actions for that. And, and I can tell you, um, our team, and I know the focus group, is, is which did some wonderful work, um, is very excited to see some of these ideas and changes coming forward. I mean, we looked at areas, for example, like ticketing and, and costs. We looked at um, uh, additional events. We, of course, even looked at rebranding, and we're going to be talking about all that today with the team. But, you know, this is kind of our first meeting to um, in gathering to give back. And we'll talk a little bit about that uh, more in just a second. But um, uh, to really get into the details and to really make some of these uh, wonderful announcements, it's always my honor to throw it back to Dana and our fantastic team who makes all this happen every year. So thank you all so much. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, we're super excited to share about what's new for 2024, um, all the incredible ways for you to participate as we celebrate the incredible wines and wineries and all of the experiences available all across Sonoma County and all in support of our community. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone on the team at American Ag Credit. They're such huge supporters of our Vintner community, our partners, and our entire community, and they do so much for us. And for Sonoma County Wine Celebration, they're our Vintner Champion Program sponsor, but they're so much more. And so just a huge thank you to Cody and Ruth and Kristen and everybody on the team at American Eye Credit. We're super appreciative of you and all that you do. So our agenda today, Mike touched on a couple of things. We're going to talk about the event schedule and rolling out the new ticket pricing, all of the incredible participation opportunities. So that'll be me. You'll have me for a little while, and then I'll throw to uh, Julia, and she'll talk a little bit more, a little deeper dive on donor development and engagement. Mike will come back and talk about our community impact and fund need. And then we're excited to have our partners from Community Foundation Sonoma County with Amy here to talk about our community grants program, all the ways that we make a difference through the auction. And then um, just we'll cover just some briefly ways that you can spread the word and PR and media plans and strategic partnerships. And then we'll open it up for the Q&A. So just kicking things off, the goal of the auction and the rebranded Sonoma County Wine Celebration remains the same. It's really about an opportunity to share meaningful connections between those of us here and those who are coming into our community for the events of the weekend. And through our time together to really gather, as the new tagline says, gathering to give back and support the foundation, and in turn, then nonprofits all across Sonoma County who are helping the, those who are most in need, many of whom we never have the opportunity to meet, but we make a huge change and important impact in their lives um, in a positive way. So Sonoma County Wine Celebration, the auction itself, it's so impactful. Um, for Sonoma County, and it's so important your participation makes an incredible difference. 
So sometimes we start in a different way, but we wanted to dive right in about what's new for 2024. So as Mike mentioned, we had a focus group come together, a number of meetings and involved community leaders from across our industry, our Sonoma County Vintners Board, and our entire team to really think about what needs to change, like how we can continue to grow and bring more people in to support Sonoma County and provide more support from within our community. One of the things that we talked about is the ticket pricing was really pricing people out of, of getting involved in the auction and being a part of making a difference. And so we really wanted a more approachable and more inclusive ticket pricing structure with opportunities for people to participate throughout the entire weekend or just through one experience or in other ways. Um, we also wanted to update and refresh the event schedule to keep some things the same that we really love and then add on some other experiences before, during, after the auction. Um, we felt it was important to take this opportunity to rebrand Sonoma County Wine Auction. There still is Sonoma County Wine Auction. That's the Saturday event, the auction, but it's more than an auction. It's the Sonoma County Wine Celebration. It's the celebration of what makes Sonoma County so special and this unique world-class wine growing region where people care so deeply about our community and really invite everybody in to gather together and celebrate what makes this region so impactful. And then we know that our vintners and our partners are in all different shapes and sizes, and we wanted to make sure that there are participation opportunities for everybody throughout the event, whether you're a small winery, whether you have limited wines available to share, you know, what are the ways that, that you can participate and make an impact and be a part of making a difference? So the schedule of events, a few things look similar. So we're going to kick things off a little bit differently this year with a welcome reception. So this is really an opportunity for people who are coming into town to ease on in to their weekend. Um, this is open to everyone who has the gold table package, the patrons weekend package, and the vintner package. Um, this reception will be at Vintner's Resort. We're so excited to be there. We'll be on their beautiful lawns. And this will really be more informal. It's kind of a meet and greet. There'll be wine and appetizers. People can check in, get their paddles and their credentials, meet some of our wonderful beneficiaries and really kick off the weekend and just, you know, kind of come together in an informal way. There's more opportunities for fun that evening. We'll talk about in a minute, in a minute. On the Friday evening, we have been bringing everybody together for a celebration event. That will continue. It's going to look a little bit different this year. We want it to be a really festive evening, set a fun and exciting atmosphere, but really bring everybody together from different experiences that they're having um, over the course of the weekend and just instead of sitting at tables or, or, you know, that they'll do during the live auction to really have the opportunity to mix and mingle. Um, we're setting a country Western theme for this year's. So we're kind of thinking boots, bottles and bites, wine country nights, um, location to be announced soon. So stay tuned. And then on Saturday, we're so excited to be back at a home um, that we've shared the auction for before. It's looking so gorgeous. Just want to say a big thank you to everybody on the Foley Family Wines team for inviting us back to Chateau St. Jean. We went over for a site visit. It's just so gorgeous. We're going to have kind of a garden party theme um, for Saturday's auction. So get your festive florals ready, um, fun hats, etc. We'll kick off with a kind of a usual schedule from about 1 to 2.30, welcoming people in, an opportunity to meet some of our beneficiaries before we go under the live auction tent to raise a paddle and make a difference for Sonoma County. And so as I was saying before, anybody who's buying that weekend package of the three different types um, will be invited to all three events as part of their package. So what's new for 2024? So instead of doing 
a vintner dinner on Thursday night for everybody with the weekend package. Instead, they'll have the welcome dinner and then have the opportunity to decide what they want to do that night. We'll be promoting our restaurant partners throughout Sonoma County, but also we will be doing a handful of dine around showdown dinners. So those who are participating in the dinners, we want you to throw down and do something really exciting and fun. Um, so people have an opportunity to choose between different dinners, um, thinking most of them will be at restaurants, about two wineries co-hosting these dinners. We encourage people to think of a fun theme, something that's really exciting, but thinking about 30 people per dinner, about 24 guests, a couple of hosts. We'll have a media placement there, a couple of our partners, and of course, one of our team members will be there to support those who are doing the Dine Around Showdown dinners. This is a really great opportunity to think of this more as like a wine club event that you're doing and where it's a winemaker dinner. So people who are coming for the full auction weekend and package could potentially buy into these. There'll be a limited number of them available as an add-on experience, but also other people in the community who maybe can't afford the full weekend package could be like, I want to go to a dine around showdown dinner. Now, maybe people want to take a deeper dive into what's so special about Sonoma County, and we're going to take a riff off of uh, something we just did at Taste of Sonoma, but expand on it with some insider wine tours. So these will be really small, intimate experiences. We'll have some wonderful pure luxury shuttles. Um, a couple of different stops where these are curated experiences, a deeper dive on Sonoma County, um, 12 guests will have... Uh, a sommelier wine star of Sonoma County on the bus so that throughout the experience, they'll be able to share insights and information about the region of Sonoma County that each of these tours takes on. So really we'll go into different areas of Sonoma County. Each of the tours will have a theme, sustainability, coastal influences, the arts, farm to table. Each of these, the Dine Around Showdown dinners and the Insider Wine Tours, will have a limited number available this year. It's kind of dipping our toe in the water. We'll see what the level of interest is. Um, hopefully, they're all going to sell out, and then we'll add more next year. So these are going to be some fun things that are available to people who live here in Sonoma County who are coming in from out of town. I will talk more in a few more slides, but we're also setting up the Sonoma County Vintners Foundation Marketplace. You may have seen that launch last year with a soft launch uh, around the auction. We really want to promote all of the incredible things that happen around Sonoma County. So people who are coming into town during the weekend can visit the different wineries all across Sonoma County and really enjoy tours and tastings, experiences and activities. And also if people can't make it here to Sonoma County, maybe these are a little more evergreen or you're doing a wine sales promotion, we'll also showcase all of the great restaurants that people can visit. And this will focus also on giving back to Sonoma County. So as I was mentioning before, there are individual tickets available for Thursday and Friday events with these Dine Around Showdown dinners and insider wine tours, either as an add-on to the weekend or completely a la carte. So we talked a little bit more about new ticket pricing. The idea behind the new ticket pricing is really to be more approachable, more inclusive, engage a broader audience. A lot of people wanna support Sonoma County and this allows a lot of different ways that people can do that. We also wanna say a heartfelt and huge thank you to all of you in our Vintner community and our donors and supporters, our partners and all of our community members. We want to show appreciation for your participation and support. And we wanna provide opportunities that assist with budgetary concerns. It's a lot to do an auction lot and buy tickets to the events and participate in all the different ways. So we wanted to make that more approachable and more affordable all at the same time, continuing to drive revenue to support and underwrite the auction expenses. So when we get under that tent on auction day and people are raising that paddle, the monies raised are all going back to the community. So that's really important as well. So what's new on the ticket pricing updates? 
So previously, the weekend package of events was $2,500 for all of our SCV members, regardless of whatever participation you're doing without within the weekend, we wanted to make it approachable to you like it used to be and make sure that all of our vintners could have a seat under the tent and be there to support and cheer on um, us throughout the events and all of our incredible visitors. So for our Sonoma County Vintners members, it is $500 a person now to attend the full weekend of events. For our auction guests, we also wanted to make it more approachable. So we've reduced the pricing down to $1,500 for the weekend package. And then new this year, we'll also have early bird pricing. Again, those individual event tickets. And if you want to just come to one of the events or an add-on a la carte experience, all of that is available. This is like... This is a big slide, very busy, but it's here for you if you need it afterwards. So just to reiterate, some things remain the same, but the dollar amounts associated have changed. So on these three packages, it includes the Thursday's welcome reception at Vintners Resort, Friday's celebration event, and Saturday's auction at Chateau St. Jean. People can still buy a full table for their group. Um, now that was $25,000, it's now $15,000 and the early bird pricing is 12,500 and it includes 10 tickets to all of the events, um, a hosted table for Saturday's auction. And then individual tickets are available under the patrons weekend package that we always offered. With the early bird pricing at 1250 per person for 2500, it's now two tickets instead of one ticket to all of the events. And then again, for our vintners, $500 per person. We just want to say a huge thank you for all that you do to support all the programs that we do for Sonoma County Vintners, Sonoma County Vintners Foundation, and supporting each other throughout everything. So this includes tickets for the people who are coming to attend the events, um, and then also additional team members for optional pouring stations during the event. So that's above and beyond any tickets that you would buy um, as attendees. And then on auction day to be seated with any guests that you invite to the auction um, that purchase their tickets or will match you with other auction attendees to fill out a table. And then on the individual event tickets, we've got Friday's celebration event and the insider wine tours as individual event tickets. Um, sorry, Friday celebration and auction day. And then you see the add-on a la carte experiences as well. So this just provides a lot of opportunity. You can do a full package, you can mix and match, whatever your heart desires as an auction guest. So then on participation opportunities to showcase your brand, again, we wanted to provide more ways to engage just depending on your bandwidth and the size of your winery and you know, the connections that you have and all of the ways that you can participate. So some things remain the same, some things are new, or some things are the same, but a little new all at the same time. So participation opportunities include, as always, the opportunity to submit live auction lots to be featured on Saturday during the live auction. Um, joining the SCVF Marketplace, showcasing your brand at the events, attending the events. And of course, we ask that you activate your networks and really help to spread the word. So live lots, we've all been busy. Um, we've been busy <laughs> on the giant ship that was Taste of Sonoma. And now we're jetting off to Sonoma County Wine Celebration. And we're asking everybody to please consider putting in a live lot for this year's auction. There's still time to submit your lot and craft something really fun. You can see a list of things that makes a great live auction lot. You can mix and match whatever you have available. What, what's new this year in the past, We've done an online auction for smaller lots and a live auction for priceless lots, lots that are a value of 10,000, 15,000, 50,000 and beyond. 
with more people coming into the auction with the bandwidth to bid on lots of all different shapes and sizes, we really want to encourage you, if you have the bandwidth to do one of those bigger lots and the opportunities and connections, that's amazing. However, please consider, um, if that's just not your sweet spot, to put in a smaller lot, maybe a $15,000 or $2,000 value, because we'll have people under the tent that that's going to be the place that they're able to raise their paddle and bid and then enjoy that connection with you. Um, after the auction. And potentially with some of those smaller lots, if we see a synchronicity between two lots that have come in, we might reach out to both of you and say, hey, this would be really cool. Would you mind if we bundle you together and you'd each have the option to do that? Um, so we invite you, please, you know, come in, put in a live lot. Um, what makes a great live lot? We're saying think outside the box, but I'm also, um, Julie and I are saying think inside the box. You don't have to recreate the wheel. Here we have our, our little guy ready to roll the wheel for you. So think about things you're already doing so it's not as heavy a lift. Do you have market visits during the year? Why make your dinners planned around the country? Um, maybe you're doing a series of dinners in New York. Build something around that, add to that package. Um, include tickets to a winery event you're already doing, um, hosting and build on from there. I know Deacon's on the call and Bricola's done that before, and that's been a huge success to add some spots into an event. Is there something on your property that you have that's different than others? Maybe you have bees and you're doing beekeeping and you want to do some kind of like, I don't know. Anyway, the world is your oyster. Just think about it. And then, of course, you're doing business with all these incredible people every day. So think about other vintners, vendors, chefs, hospitality pack partners to, you know, reach out to and ask if they'll be a part of your auction lot. And then we say, it's always more fun if you supersize it and make it a double. So there's a spot on the live lot form where you can click that and let us know, plan ahead and offer a double. Often it happens under the auction tent, doubles, triples, crazy things. I always love shenanigans and always happy to respond. But if you know right away from the start, then we're gonna plan for it with the auctioneer, engage some more bidders, and then you have more people to connect with before, during, and after the auction. Um, our team is here to help. I'm throwing Julia out to all of you, but of course we're all here. Um, but Julia is at the ready to brainstorm with you and really help you think about and craft some incredible auction lots. So we still have a couple of weeks left and we know that, you know, everything comes together quickly once we're all finally focused on it. So now's the time and let's put it all together. The marketplace, so this launched a little bit last year. This is revenue driven, driven fundraising. And if you have questions about it, you can also reach out to Julia and she'll get more into the details. If you participated already in Sonoma County Wine Month, it's as simple as that. It's really easy to, uh, and we'll be coming through with a sign up opportunity to sign up um, and we'll have a dedicated page on the Sonoma County Wine Celebration website. We'll be doing all kinds of email and social marketing promotions around the marketplace. So we ask that you consider featuring winery experiences, again, things you're already doing, special tours and tastings that you have, um, different activities and events. Think of the people that are here over the weekend that might be looking to add on as they come into town before they leave town, but also think beyond. You can do a promotion that's the whole month of September. You can do something that's evergreen. You can set the time period. Um, it can be just the weekend. It can be much longer, whatever works for you. Um, also, think about offering a wine promotion. Showcase a wine or wines available to purchase by people who are visiting in person or as online offers for those who can't make it into town in person. And then you'll include a donation component giving back to Sonoma County Vintners Foundation, a percentage or a dollar amount. Um, no amount is too big or too small. <laughs> All donations make a difference. And you'll really be able to promote that during the marketplace. And then you can always set a cap so that it's a, an amount that you're comfortable with right from the get-go. So again, if you have more questions about the marketplace, just reach out to Julia or myself or anyone on the team. Um, we're really excited about this because we really want to showcase all of the incredible things that people are, people are offering across Sonoma County and highlight our wonderful wine region and world-class wines. 
So again, this is a little more delving in the details like that ticket slide, and we'll be sharing out a lot more information and sign up sheets. But really, we want you to take an advantage of the opportunity to connect with auction guests while they're in town. I mean, that's really what this is about, too, for you, our Vintner um, and sponsor partners is making and building those relationships, making new friends, keeping the old. I won't sing this, Amy, I promise. Um, but some are silver and the rest are gold. They're all gold in our minds, right? So anyhow, we want you to be able to get in front of the auction guests. As always, there'll be vintner porn opportunities. In addition to Friday's celebration event, there'll also be the opportunity for some of our vintners to pour at Thursday's welcome reception. So these are really great ways to pour some of your incredible wines and um, meet and greet and really share in the festivities. And again, if you're buying tickets to attend, which we hope that you will, um, these pouring opportunities would be for some other team members if you have um, others that you wanna bring in to help pour the wines or you're welcome to do that yourselves. And then on Saturday's auction, as we've done in the past, um, all of our vintners who are attending, um, we invite you to host an auction table where, you're, where you'll bring your wines in and pour for the guests seated at your table. For those of you who are inviting guests to attend, which we hope is all of you, um, we will carefully match make anyone that you invited to be seated at your table. And then if it's not full, we'll fill it with more of our auction guests and you'll have the opportunity to enjoy the welcome reception as well and meet some of our incredible beneficiary partners. And then if you're interested in participating and learning more about the ancillary events that we talked about, the Dine Around Showdown and Friday's Insider Wine Tours, um, we have some ideas that we're already crafting and we'll be reaching out to some of you, but we'd love people who are interested to raise their hand and let us know that you're interested in participating and we can delve into the details with you. Um, we ask that you... Um, purchase the Vintner package now that it's much more affordable to be a part of the weekend package, package of events and include your winery team members to a pour. Um, and then there are other opportunities. If you have winery accommodations, which we've reached out to some of you and we know some of you have those on hold for us, or maybe you have great lodging partners and you'd like to offer to host some auction guests, or maybe you want to hold them to host the auction guests you're inviting. Um, we also have media that are coming um, to Sonoma County Wine Celebration. We're always looking for some opportunities for those who are coming out of town to be able to stay with you. So let us know and um, Barbara and her team will match some great media up with your accommodations. We also have some wonderful sp sponsor partners and our sponsors are truly our partners. And when they think about Sonoma County Wine Celebration and the auction, they're thinking about who are their clients or members of their team that have the bandwidth to come in and bid and support, donate to the fund to need and give back to Sonoma County. And so for these sponsor partners, some of the VIP top partners, we're looking for a place maybe for a small group of them and their clients to have a lunch or a dinner. So that's something you're interested in, please reach out to us and we'll match make those with you. And we do ask that you activate your network as we do with all of the programs and events. We will put together a marketing toolkit that's already coming together as we speak. Assets are already being built into it. Barb will talk more about that during her section. But we really ask that you promote your activations at Sonoma County Wine Celebration and in the marketplace, in your own email campaigns and social media. And most importantly, to spread the word and to share what's new, personal outreach is the best. And Julia's going to touch on that in just a minute. It's really important to do that personal outreach because we're all so inundated now with emails and social and all of the noise. And so a personal phone call, message, card, carrier pigeon, however you want to send it out, send it out. <laughs> um, so I'm going to pass over to Julia now, and then you'll hear from me again a little bit later. Julia. Good morning, everyone. Um, so for those of you who I've not had the pleasure of meeting, uh, my name is Julia Grunseth, and I'm our Director of Donor Relations and Philanthropy for Sonoma County Vintners Foundation. Right. Um, so 
Uh, I know the world of auctions and events um, really isn't new to anybody um, on our call here, but just to kind of review um, and talk about some ways that really will help impact our event um, and in turn our community, um, here's a few things. Um, so first is for those of you who have attended auction, either um, Sonoma County wine celebration. I'll get there. <laughs> um, uh, and um, other events throughout our county and throughout um, you know, the nation. I know a lot of you travel to events throughout our um, our country here. So reaching out to donors who have um, purchased your auction lot at other places, who have bid on your auction lot, reaching out to them um, and kind of especially leading now with a lot of our new programs and our new branding. It's a really great opportunity to just reconnect with some of them, talk about what you are doing, how you're activating at our event, but most importantly, um, talking about um, the personal connection that you have to our county, why it means a lot for you to be able to um, engage with Sonoma County Vintners Foundation and in turn our community and the impact that our funding has on some of the um, philanthropic efforts that mean the most to your organization. Things like that really help to draw people in, especially from that personal connection piece. Um, one other thing to really note on this, um, and I think a lot of us have um, have had this experience, is making sure that your hospitality staff knows, one, about Sonoma County um, Wine Celebration, knows what the events are, and knows how you're activating at the events. A lot of times we see our... Um, um, our hospitality frontline crews don't always know exactly what's happening and it becomes um, kind of this um, struggle at times. So part of what one we would really love to see this year is making sure that um, that communication is shared, not just with donors, your wine club um, and those folks, but also making sure that your team knows what's happening so that when they answer the phone or when they're speaking with someone in your tasting room, they're able to share that information. And that'll also help a lot if you are participating in the marketplace program as well. Um, and then, you know, tag us on social media, send out emails. As Dana mentioned, um, our Marcom team will have an incredible toolbox that they um, will send out that'll have all of our new branding as well. Um, and then as always, I'm here. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. All right. Um, so I, I uh, touched on this briefly already, but making sure that you're reaching out to um, to those who you have connected with um, before, so new and returning guests, really that personal outreach um, from you is, is really the way that we can create more meaningful and deeper relationships. One thing um, to really be no, um, aware of is that um, you don't have to do the heavy lifting. All you really need to do is make an introduction to me and I can do um, do the rest of it from there. But as I mentioned earlier, really having that personal connection, telling the story about what it means for you to be involved in this um, in this event really will help to um, to drive that home. I see how Stuart shaking his head over there. I think I got probably 20 introduction emails from him last year in the span of about a week and a half. Um, and it was exactly that. It was Stuart saying, this event is really meaningful for me, for our organization, for Pride Mountain Vineyards. Here's why. And I've been involved with this organization for so long. And here's Julia to tell you all about everything else. Um, and then he got to kind of pass it off. I did the heavy lift on that. Um, and um, and we were able to really engage with some wonderful folks who some of them didn't come, but we got some good proxy bidding off, out of that. So if someone says they're unable to join, um, it doesn't stop right there. There we go. Look at that segue. Um, we go straight into proxy bidding. Proxy bidding is a great opportunity for folks to support not just our event, but also your auction lot. If you are selling an auction lot that you think a bunch of your um, club members would be really interested in, but they're unable to join. Um, they're able to proxy bid on that lot um, and we will handle all of that. So even if someone isn't able to attend or indicates that they're not able to attend, don't let that stop you from making that introduction and letting them know that there is still an opportunity to proxy bid and to be involved and to support not just your organization, but our foundation and our community. All right. 
Hang on, my cursor is frozen. <laughs> Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then selling your auction lot. Um, this tends to be a um an interesting um situation. A lot of our um vintners know this game really well. You work the room, you talk about your auction lot, you talk about what's exciting about it, um, and you try to pre-sell your auction lot. Um, don't be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to talk about your auction lot. Don't be afraid to encourage people to bid on your auction lot. Um, and um, at all of our pre-event um, things, don't be afraid to talk about it and push it through your social medias and through your um, your email campaigns and that kind of thing. Um, it's it's really important. It's the best way that, to see your auction lot do um, incredibly well. Um, again, as I said, proxy bidding is a great opportunity for those who can't be there. Um, and then, of course, reconnecting the day of if you talk to someone at a dinner or something on Thursday night, make sure you uh, make a point of reconnecting with them on Saturday before we go into the tent. Um, as a lot of you know, um, auctions get a little bit crazy. There's a lot of people. There's um, a lot of moving pieces. There's paddles flying in the air. There's dancing on stage because you never know what John Curley's going to do. <laughs> um, but um, just a few things to always keep in mind if you're going to bring something, if you're going to bring a bottle of wine or want to um, to think you're winning bitter, um, don't stand in the middle of the walkways. Don't block the view of others. Um, and our team is unable to help you in that moment to tell you how much a winning bid was or who the winning bidder or under bidders were. As soon as we have all of that information, we will happily share it with you. Um, but we are unable to do that on site at that time. So um just something that we like to reiterate many times throughout this process. Uh Sharon, you have a question? You're raising your hand. Or Sharon, if you want to hold on to that question, um, just pop it in the chat or hold it to the end, then we'll make sure to get to it and answer it during the QA. Thanks so much, Jules. Appreciate yeah, no it. Um, a lot of shenanigans do happen on auction day. And so just to reiterate, we do, you know, just appreciate your understanding as we're running around because all those shenanigans help raise more money to make a bigger difference and impact in our community. And that is my segue to bring it back around to Mike to talk about the incredible impact of Sonoma County Wine Celebration of the auction and everything that has happened over the past years and where we hope to head for the future. Dana, thank you so much. But you know, when you when you mention dancing on stage, you know, I think of Stuart Bryan. I mean, what an iconic moment years ago. We still talk about it. And I think that probably produced another 20,000 that day. But anyway, you know, we're looking forward to more of that as, as we move forward. But that said, you know, everything that we're talking about today um, is all about gathering to give back. And it's all about making an impact and helping those in need in Sonoma County. That's the focus. That's why we're here. That's why we do all this work. And, and to see the generosity of our wine community, uh, our partners, and so many others that come to help us in that, you know, that generosity has reflected out into thousands of children and thousands of people in need across um, our county getting assistance in hundreds of nonprofit organizations. As you can see here, you know, we've served over 430 nonprofits over the years. $41 million has been raised uh, to help those in need here in Sonoma County. Uh, fund the need, you can see over $8 million in, in the past few years. And then of course, we established our emergency relief fund a few years ago after the two, 2017 fires. And we've been able to activate that quickly uh, in times of need, whether it be fires, floods, or whatever. And that has made an enormous difference both in our community, uh, our wine community, and those just in need here in our county. Um, but as in the past, this year we're incredibly honored and excited to be teaming up with our great partners at Community Foundation. And I know Amy's going to say a few words in a second, but that partnership, I can tell you, for Sonoma County Vintners Foundation uh, has not only been so extraordinarily beneficial, but it's really helped our foundation target and help those most in need here in Sonoma County. And of course, we focused that need uh, in the past few years on health and human services, 
education, the environment, and the arts as well. Uh, we've we've assisted, as we've said, in emergency response as well as housing. So those monies raised have helped so many people, and the Community Foundation has been an extraordinary partner in making sure that those monies get targeted and focused most uh, to those in need. But also coming into this year's auction, one of the things that we're very excited about uh, and as a part of our Fund the Need Paddle Raise lot, uh, we're going to partner with uh, an organization called the K3 Proficiency Project. Some of you might remember this project. Our foundation a few years ago provided the seed money for this project. This project has done extraordinary work here in Sonoma County in working on third grade literacy. Amy Carter, who is the superintendent of uh, Sonoma County Schools, is a huge endorser of this project, and she's actually going to be at our auction. You'll probably hear from her uh, during the auction event. But the results, the measurable results of this program have been extraordinary. That being said, now there's an emphasis to expand that to other schools here in Sonoma County and see the same results. So we are looking through partnering with our good friend Gary Nelson and Nelson Associates uh, to be able to provide some resources uh, once again, as we have in the past, to the K-3 project to be able to expand this program um, to other areas of Sonoma County um, uh, this next year. So we're very excited to be able to partner with Gary um, and, and Nelson Associates and the K-3 initiative. We think it's a, a program as we did many years ago when we first funded it, that really gets to the core of literacy. We all know as a, you know, as if we can help a child at that third grade literacy um, uh, rate improve, uh, the prospects of a brighter future for that child go up tremendously. And we see that in the research. So we're excited about that. And then, of course, with this program and combining with our amazing partners at Community Foundation and our community grants, we really hope to have an extraordinary uh, year of impact um, throughout our county and to help so many in need as we move forward. And that being said, uh, I get the great honor and pleasure of introducing our dear friend and amazing partner at the Community Foundation, Amy Holter. She's going to tell you a little bit more about Community Grants Program. And Amy, welcome and thank you for all you do. Thank you so much, Mike. The honor is really mine. Um, I'm so grateful to have the opportunity to work with the Vintners. Um, everyone's an incredible partner um, and the Community Foundation is um, really you know, so grateful for um, for this partnership that's that's occurred over multiple years, and um, we're really excited to continue um, to support this incredible work. Um, the community grants programs really allow us to have a, a very broad impact on so many people's lives um, in the community here that we love. Uh, this year, we had an incredible outpouring of applications from nonprofits. We had 120 organizations that are serving countless families across Sonoma County um, apply for funding through this grant program. So there, the need is certainly there and the interest in partnering with the Vintners is, is certainly uh, there in the community. Um, so as Mike mentioned, there are four key categories in the community grants program, um, education, health and human services, environment, and arts and culture. Um, and I do want to give a, just a little shout out also to the Emergency Relief Fund. Um, I used to work in disaster response recovery um, and in cooperation with the Sonoma County Community Organizations Active in Disaster. Um, my team was able to, to provide wraparound disaster case management support to people who you know, had really had their lives turned upside down by by fires and floods, and the the Vintners Emergency Relief Fund was a big part of the reason why the team was able to do that. So I just want to say a personal thank you um, to everyone who was involved in in making those funds available. Um, so with the community grants programs in our applicate in the evaluation of these applications, we really make sure that all the organizations that we recommend for funding um, are increasing access to resources for the most marginalized uh, people in our community. Um, and we also, as we're, as we're making these recommendations, we make sure that each of the portfolios for, for the grant programs um, represent all geographies in Sonoma County. So, um, so that there is really clear impact in every corner of Sonoma County. Um, and we're very excited because the, the Vintners Board is meeting this week to, to approve 
um, the, the next round of grants. So that's going to be, um, everyone's going to be very excited to get those emails in their inboxes um, in early July. Um, so for education, um, as, as Mike was mentioning, literacy is such a, a hugely important uh, factor in a child's um, early education and that follows them throughout their educational career and their, their life. Um, and we know that unfortunately COVID really reduced learning opportunities uh, across the board for young people, but um, that especially hit hard for the earliest learners um, and especially those who are dual language learners as well. Um, so uh, the 2023 Ready Report actually found, and this completely shocked me, uh, found that less than 20% of children in Sonoma County are entering kindergarten ready to succeed. And that's a, a sharp decline from 40% in 2016. So we've got a lot of work to do. Um, and so the, the focus of the education grant program this year was on, specifically on early literacy. Um, one example of an incredible applicant that we had was Corazon Healdsburg. Um, they provide bilingual early literacy support for preschool age children um, and what's really cool about their program is that they involve parents in the process um, so that that learning can really continue outside of the classroom. Um, all right. And then we'll continue on to health and human services. Um, so, you know, all of us are feeling the effects of inflation, um, but this is even, it's been even more uh, troublesome, problematic for those who were already experiencing financial insecurity prior to the pandemic. Um, and so there are so many people across Sonoma County that are really struggling to meet their daily basic human needs. Um, and so this year, the Health and Human Services grant program was targeting um, those key basic human needs like shelter and food. So um, we supported organizations that were providing direct shelter and food to populations that are experiencing um, housing and food insecurity. So the Health and Human Services program is always the largest grant program. So it's uh, we fund a, about half of the funding that comes through um, this work. It goes to the Health and Human Services grant program. Um, one example of an amazing applicant this year uh, is Catholic Charities um, and for their, their new Caritas Center, um, which provide, is a, a family uh, shelter. And so the grant from the Vintners will help them to make sure that the families that are living at Caritas Center are are, have healthy food to eat. Um, I do have to share one st quick story on the Caritas Center because um, I heard from a friend there that um, when they first opened Caritas Center, um, there was a, a four-year-old girl and her mother who moved in um, and they had been at various shelters before, um, but this was the, the very first time that this little girl felt safe enough to sleep in her own bed. So it, it makes me tear up even now. Every time I pass Cartas Center, I get a little teary. Um, but just, you know, imagining that for someone who has has lived four, four years of her life, not feeling safe enough to leave her mom's side at, at night and then being able to, to sleep in her own bed for the first time at, um, at Cartas Center is, it's really incredible. So these are the kinds of stories that the Vintners funding is, is making possible. Um, so other applicants to Health and Human Services included uh, Buckaloo programs and YWCA of Sonoma County who provide housing and food for women who've been victims of abuse. Um, another is Petaluma People Services who are providing home delivered meals to, to homebound seniors. Um, so I, you know, I could really go on and on. Uh, I wish that all of you could read these applications so you could really feel your hearts open um, around these stories, but um, you know, let me know if you ever want to hear more. <laughs> Um, so for environment, um, we all know, unfortunately, this year there's already been fires, even though it's only June, which is upsetting. But um, so the, the current and future threat of wildfires really means that disaster mitigation continues to be um, a critical safety issue for our community. Um, so funding in, in, in the area of environment this year um, targeted disaster mitigation projects um, and really focused on um, supporting training for, for a workforce that'll be able to, uh, to work in the area of reducing fire fuels. Um, so one of those awesome applicants was Audubon Canyon Ranch for their Fire Forward Fellowship. Say that 10 times fast. Um, and Fire Forward, we learned, is just an incredible program that is really get It's getting national accolades um, and is really helping us to develop the workforce that we need 
um, to mitigate the, the risk of fire. So um, that's a, a great program that we're able to support. And then of course, last but not least, we have arts and culture. Um, this year we focused the grant program um, on mental health and healing through arts and culture. Uh, so from Botanical Bus, who provides art therapy, um, to an organization called Cafe Puente, which runs a youth art and mental health program. Um, these organizations are really laying the groundwork for our communities to, to you know, to be thriving and multicultural um, places, and you know, to really, I think help us to learn from the hardships that we've all been through together so we can really build ourselves back up better than, than we were before. Um, and so I, I just really appreciate all of your time in, in learning about the community grants and, um, and welcome any questions that you might have. Um, I can put my, my contact info in the chat. So please feel free to reach out at any time um, to ask more about the program. Thank you again to everyone for, for this incredible partnership. Dana, can I just jump in real quick because um, I just wanted to echo everything Amy said. And Amy, thank you so much for being here today. Um, you know, please know that the time and the effort and the generosity and the support that all of you put in here really and truly impacts so many in this county. You know, our team, Amy, we all get to hear the stories. We get to meet the people and in the, in the nonprofit uh, leaders who are out there carrying the water and doing this great work for us every day. And I can tell you from 2017 to today and gone through so many crises and to meeting these people that we've not only supported, but the individuals and the nonprofits that have done the work, uh, it is the most inspiring, motivating thing um, that we do here. And to be able to see how the generosity of our Vintner community and others goes into impacting lives is extraordinary. So please know that that support that you do really does move that needle in Sonoma County, and it's extremely important. And I just wanted to say thanks again for everybody for being here. Dana? Yeah, absolutely. Amy, you did make me tear up, and it's so inspirational to see and hear the stories and know how we're making a difference I've said before, we never know all the lives we touch, but to hear the stories of some of the lives that we touch. And we do a deep dive approach through the Fund to Need Paddle Raise and a broad approach through the community grants and really are making such a difference. And when each of our vintners, and Barb, I'll pass to you in just a moment, but when you're out there and speaking about Sonoma County Wine Celebration and your involvement in portions of the program, and celebrating all that's special about Sonoma County. It's really about that tagline, gathering to give back and sharing a story from your heart, like Julia was talking about before when you're communicating with people and knowing that, that everyone who's participating, something from in here will resonate with them. We've all had experiences through our lives and it's really about sharing that story and helping to spread the word in the way that's most meaningful to you and to those that you're reaching out to and how we can each make a difference. Um, Barb and the PR team will do so much outreach to media to engage them through the events and spotlight and share your stories. What she's going to share today is just a little bit about how you can make the most out of your participation and help spread the word and engage your your community to be a part of this. So Barb, over to you. Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for being here. As Dana said, I'm Barbara Cox. I'm Director of Marketing and Communications. And I have a great team that I work with, um, Amy Patrick, who's on PTO today, but she's our Marketing and PR Manager, and Heather Hardesty, who is our Creative Manager. Um, as Dana said, our role is really to promote um, this auction, all of your generosity, your auction lots, and definitely the impact. So we try to bring those stories to life um, of working with Amy and her team at the Community Foundation um, and really highlighting everything that you're doing as well. Um, as Dana mentioned, we really just wanted to focus in really today on two slides. Um, one is talking about this marketing toolkit that we've created. Um, the more people will use, you know, email marketing, social media, PR, media outreach, um, you name it, to get the word across. But the more people that we have talking about this auction, the better we all are. So we created, we know that your lives are super busy and we wanted to create something very simple for you to use. We've done this for other um, programs that we've created as well. 
This one is for the marketing toolkit for the um, Sonoma County wine celebration. In this toolkit, it's all digital. Um, there's a link on this page and Dana will be sending this slide out. Um, we'll have it out to you next week. Um, and it'll um, have a link to logos um, for the wine celebration, uh, photos that you can use, social graphics that are sized for Facebook and Instagram. So you don't even have to si size those. There will be a fact sheet coming soon um, as, as everything is finalized. Um, there is a save the date digital invite in there as well. So you can start using that now. Um, and then we'll be creating a digital invitation um, in addition to that. Um, so keep checking back on that link. We'll be adding things as details um, happen, um, but it's really a great way to, to promote the event and your involvement. Um, how you can use this in spreading the word, we encourage you to include your involvement um, on your website. If you have an event page, that's great. Um, highlighting um, your participation in email marketing um, to your customers, that's wonderful. Um, extending invitations and promoting Proxy bidding, I know Dana and Julia already covered that. Social media is huge. Um, we saw a great involvement on For Taste of Sonoma, an engagement with all of our Vintner partners and members and sponsors, and really encourage you to use that. Um, promote your lot there, tag us, um, make sure that at Sonoma County Vintners as our handle. Um, we will see your posts then. Otherwise, sometimes with the algorithms, we will try to go through them, but we don't see them as much. But if you tag us, we get a message and we will share your post to amplify your message to our audience. And then um, you can follow us um, and share our post. That's another way to get the word out. And then using the hashtag that we've created, which is hashtag SCWC is great. Um, if you guys have any you know, questions or comments or ideas, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or anybody on our team. Um, we're always looking for new ways to kind of spread the word. Um, so thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Yeah, and, and we'll be seeing a lot more activation leading up to the event and all of the exciting promotions that Barbara and Amy and Heather are working on. And then also as we have the media guests who will be coming to the events, we'll share that out with all of our participating vintners. So lots happening there, but we really wanted to focus on today on what's new and how you can help amplify the message. Um, we have a wonderful team member, Kelsey McNeil, that handles all of our strategic partnerships. I am going to speak on behalf of her today. Um, our partnerships are so important. Our partners are really, truly our collaborators to make a difference. The We have longtime supporters who have been a part of Sonoma County Wine Auction who are coming back for the celebration. And as I said before, they're really thinking about how they can amplify the message. It means so much to them um, to support us and our community and help get the message out and bring some really wonderful clients of theirs into the auction. Um, we just wanna say a huge thank you, first of all, to all of our continuing sponsor partners and to our incredible generous venue hosts. Um, we are so excited to be coming back to Chateau St. Jean for the auction. It's going to be so wonderful to gather together there again. Each and every one of you, our vintners on the call and our sponsor partners, your support really matters and really makes a difference. Um, we definitely can't do it alone and without the support of our partners, but there's so many people out there that maybe that we don't know and that we don't touch yet, um, that you're doing business with and interacting with each and every day. So in addition to spreading the word for them to come and be a part and attend the events, we're asking for some help as you're out and about and thinking about this to reach out to your network, not only to invite them to come to the auction, but invite them to be a part of making a difference. Um, to help us tell the story of what we're doing um, so as you reach out and you're you're doing business, tell the story about Sonoma County Vintners Foundation, about Sonoma County Wine Celebration, and invite your partners to be a part of that. And all you need to do, just similar with Julia, send an introductory email and we'll do the rest. So reach out to Kelsey at SonomaWine.com. Of course, any of us are here as well. And when you're, you're out there in the world, as you are every day, 
think about who could be a potential partner for Sonoma County Wine Celebration. Local organizations that work closely within the wine industry. You have many national corporations that you work with, agriculture companies, vineyard management, hotel and lodging, financial transportation companies. You know, think inside the box, outside of the box. We would be happy for any and all introductions. Once you make those introductions, really the reason that sponsor partners can participate is many fold. Um, they're helping those in our community who are most in need. They're also having the opportunity to connect with others who want to give back during the weekend of events and make really meaningful connections for their businesses and personally and professionally. And then of course there are tax benefits for all of our partners who are involved and all of you who are involved. Um, marketing inclusions locally and nationally. We provide tickets to the events. And then for any and all sponsor partners, um, Kelsey and I and the team will work together to really customize those activations based on their goals and what they're hoping to get out of the their time with us um, during Sonoma County Wine Celebration. So again, just with everything we say, like as you're out there, keep us in mind, keep the foundation and the celebration and all of this good we can do in mind. And as you're doing business, um, think about how you can bring those folks to the table, whether it's top customers and wine club members that you're inviting as guests to the auction, or if it's these other companies that you do business with that you think would be great to get involved. Um, there are so many different ways that we can build momentum and raise more funds and make a meaningful difference for the community. Um, so we'll stop and open it up to any questions. Ash, I didn't see any in the chat. Sharon did raise her hand. I don't know if she was waving goodbye or if she's still with us and has a question, but we'll open it up to anybody with questions now. Not a single question. Well, we have questions still. We're figuring it all out as we go along. We've got lots of great ideas from the focus group and we'll be delving into the details. We encourage your ideas and your questions because those questions are opportunities for us to add new things in or consider new ways and um, you know, really continue to improve. So some of these things are kind of testing the waters to see where the interest is, but we really wanted to also bring back the fun in giving and really get back to our roots of, of making this a really fun and engaging experience to showcase everything that's so special all across Sonoma County. I always love this image on this slide. Um, I wanna say a huge thank you to all of you for your generosity, your participation, spending your time today. Again, we did record this presentation and as Barb mentioned, we'll be sending it out next week so you can share it with your team so we can share it with those who were, were unable to make it um, virtually here today. But it really is true that together we make a huge difference of for so many lives across Sonoma County. And it's really about this cumulative impact um, that builds and builds and builds. Um, so thank you so much for your time today. And um, we, we really appreciate you joining us. I'm gonna stop sharing if anybody wants to say goodbye. And I'm also going to stop the recording. Thank you all so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Thank